Hello, Ariana Barrett. Coming to talk to you about the Law of Attraction. Have you heard of it? Pretty cool stuff. Uh, law of Attraction is all about when we send out energy, we actually create a certain matrix and then the physical has to form on top of it. So I have two cool stories. I thought about them today. I thought, oh, I want to share these. Uh, one is about surfing. Anyone who knows me knows that I love surfing. I'm not a hardcore surfer, I wouldn't say I'm a good surfer, but I've always loved surfing and I, I think it started when I was younger. Um, all of my cousins and I were about a year apart and the boys would go surfing and the girls would go with them, but the boys didn't want to take the time to teach us how to surf. They wanted to go surf and they wanted us to uh, take videos and pictures on the beach and that never happened. <laughs> we would do gymnastics and, and play on the sand and do other cool stuff, but I think that's where my love of surfing and the ocean started and I lived in a lot of places where there was no ocean. So when I lived in Arizona, when I lived in Sedona, I decided to get a subscription to Surfing Magazine. <laughs> I did not know if they were going to send it to me in the desert, but they did. And in one of the issues, this came. So it's a DVD, you can tell it's, it's clearly worn. This has got to be about 10 years old. Um, so this DVD came in one of the issues and it's pretty much a long commercial for one of the companies. But it's really cool. It's probably about like 12 or 13 chapters in here. And it's surfing all over the globe. So you've got Bali, you've got Tahiti, you've got California, Mexico, Hawaii, lots of cool places. And I would watch it all the time because I wasn't near the ocean and I wanted to connect and I just, I loved it. It had really great music too. Uh, the songs back then, nobody knew the songs now. I hear them all over. I was at the, the restaurant across the street the other day and they were playing one of the songs. So I was like, yep. Yeah, of course, you'd have surfing music at a Mexican restaurant. Um, but anyway, so I watched this DVD and I watched it wherever I lived. Uh, I ended up living in Chicago in a high rise and no ocean and lots of snow. <laughs> and um, so I'd watch it. I'd watch it all the time. And there was uh, one new surfer in there, Grom, named uh, Tonino Benson. And he was in probably about half of, half of the videos. And um, so I just watched it and I loved it. And then from Chicago, I ended up moving to Hawaii. I felt guided to move to Hawaii. I didn't know which island, but I connected and I, I really got the clear message which island and I moved there. And when I was in Hawaii, I actually learned to surf. So I was super stoked about that. There's a surfing lingo. And so I didn't need to watch a DVD. But after unpacking, it's probably, I've probably been there probably a couple weeks and after unpacking my stuff, I found the DVD. And I was like, oh cool. And I put it in and I started watching it. So I went through the first couple chapters and then when I got to the Hawaii chapter, I was like, what? I live there. <laughs> I live in that exact location. And when it says Hawaii on a DVD, they're, they're multiple islands. Um, it's, not, it's not just one island. So the fact that I had manifested moving to Hawaii and moving to the exact location that I had been watching on this DVD for years blew my mind. I recognized the cruise ship. I recognized the mountains. I recognized everything. I, I live here. I, I live here. So it totally blew me away about the law of attraction. And so uh, I was on one of my regular runs. I did like an eight mile loop um, by the ocean. And when I was running on the way back, I, I, this, this guy caught my attention and I stopped. And, and I looked at him. And um, I, I took my earphones off and I, I was like, I knew I had to say something because I know this, how do I, like his energy field, there's something familiar, I know this guy. And so I went up to him and I said, hi. I, I said, do I know you? And he's like, I don't think so. And I said, I feel like I know you. And I just took a second and I'm like, is your name Tonino? And he goes, yeah, how did you know that? I said, are you Tonino Benson? And he's like, yeah. I said, I've been watching you on this DVD, this surfing DVD for years, and now you're standing in front of me in Hawaii. It was, it was pretty amazing because also surfers, they don't like to disclose uh, their surfing locations because if they're awesome surfing locations, they don't want other people to know about it. So that was another really cool part about it that I had manifested moving thousands of miles away from the mainland to Hawaii, to the exact island and the exact location where I had been watching this guy surf. And then I met him on my run. <laughs> Amazing. Second law of attraction story that I have is uh, I, I was in Seattle for a summer and I bought two CDs at the store. And when I got home, uh, I put one into my laptop and I listened to it. I thought, okay, I want to listen to the other one. So the other one was a Dave Matthews CD. And I put it in my laptop and it wouldn't play. I thought, that's really weird. The other CD was fine. So I took it out. I tried it again. It wouldn't play. And I was like, all right, I'm just going to let it be. 
And I went and did something, and a couple hours later I came back and I tried it again, and it still wouldn't play. And I was like, all right, I'm going to try this tomorrow in my car to see, you know, if it's a bum CD or, or, or what's the deal here. So the next day, uh, I, I put it on in my car, I drove to the park, and I actually listened to the whole CD, which is rare. Uh, I usually kind of flip around, try out different songs, you know, on different drives, but I listened to the whole CD. Uh, one of their band members had passed away, and so it was an interesting um, collaboration of songs and stuff. So I listened to it, and I was like, oh, it's cool, cool CD. And uh, then I went out to the park. It was a beautiful day. Whenever you have sunshine in Seattle, you go out and you soak it up. So I went out to the park, and I was laying on the grass, and about... 20 minutes after just relaxing on the grass, I heard Dave Matthews' voice. I heard him talking, not singing a song. It wasn't a song in my head. I heard him talking. And I was like, okay, maybe I should go get some water. Maybe I'm dehydrated. <laughs> I'm hearing voices. So um, I went to my car, and what do you know? But Dave Matthews is standing there by a tree with his family uh, on scooters. They were, they were doing push scooters at, at, at the park. They were enjoying the day in the park. So I looked at him, I said hi, and smiled, and he said hi, and smiled, and I left it at that. Um, it would have been a cool story to share with him, but I didn't want to bother him. You know, famous people, they get bothered all the time, and so I thought more important for him to spend time with his family on their scooters. But I thought, wow, um, okay, I just manifested <laughs> Dave Matthews in the flesh after listening to this CD. So the law of attraction is super cool, because what we focus on repetitively consistently and with a lot of strength and a lot of emotion. That's key too. You know, I was really feeling the songs. I was really feeling the surf, the music, the DVD, like it was awesome. So when you have all those components together, you manifest like that. It's, it's super cool. And then the thing too that we attract in our life that sometimes we don't want, that, that's coming from subconscious programs. And that's the work that I do is releasing those subconscious programs, those lower vibrational programs, and then uploading higher vibrational programs to the computer of the brain. Um, thus changing the attractor field, uh, a higher vibrational attractor field. So try it. Try manifesting something today. I dare you. I double dog dare you. Try manifesting something. Close your eyes, connect to it, focus on it, feel it. Feel it. That's the part that's usually missing. Feel it. Send that order out to the universe and let it go. It's kind of like in the spoon bending class, you have to put the intention out, let it go. Get that order to the kitchen. Don't keep bringing the waiter back because your food's never going to get to you because your order is never going to get to the kitchen. Try it. See what you can manifest today. It's super cool. And it doesn't have to be someone famous. I think for me, manifesting um, people who are well-known is, is really, really defines to me that it's, it's the law of attraction because I can't just call them up and be like, hey, let's go meet. Um, it's, it's kind of amazing. It shows me how awesome um, our thoughts and how powerful we are and that we can attract different things into our life that, that need something to us, that, that we really enjoy. So if you have any Law of Attraction stories, I would love to hear them. So please post them below or email me. And I look forward to connecting again soon. Bye.